The lights are out, the doors are locked, but the South Irving Library won't be closed for long. It's about to open for a special event. This is our second Friday night library and it's just a way that we can get new customers in that might be visiting the park after hours. So we're open from 7 to 11 and it's just kind of a fun, chill night where activities are going on all night long. Um, we don't have the computers open or on at this point, but we've got books are being checked out, new cards are being issued and all kinds of stuff. The night was filled with fun activities. We have a story walk for kids, so as they are walking through the park, they read a page of a story and then turn around and read another story on their way back, and then they do a craft, and then mainly for like the teens, tweens, we've got a gaming marathon. And then tonight at nine, we uh, show an outdoor movie and we're showing Man of Steel. The idea for Friday Night Library came about after noticing that there was still a lot of traffic in the parking lot and park even after the library was closed. We started thinking about things we could do and we really enjoy what museums do a lot of times and having things after hours just to kind of show the, the behind the scenes aspect of um, museums. So we decided to incorporate, the, incorporate that in, into libraries. And it's an event that Amanda loves being a part of. I just like the atmosphere. It's real, um, like book is the center of everything and fun and it's real um, interactive and engaging and everybody gets to sort of uh, float around, see what all there is to offer and all that kind of good stuff. If you missed out on this Friday Night Library, don't worry. We're going to have another one of these in August. So we're doing um, bedtime stories and all the kids can come in their pajamas. And then um, after that, we're going to do life-size board games. So we're going to have really large size checkers and Connect Four and, and uh, a life-size candy land game and just fun stuff like that. It's an entertaining and free event that the whole family can enjoy. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyab reporting.